Cool kids. We are on a mission. We are going to get some countries done. You know what I'm saying? We got 195 countries in the world. Ain't nobody got time to lollygag around. Oh no. We got to get this. Now, I might not be done with this till next year. You know, I'm going to... I want to be completing this series as I get the coins, you know. Um, now, a lot of these countries I have, you know. So, just because I haven't done a video about it doesn't mean I don't have it. Like, we haven't done the United States yet. But, y'all know I got coins from the United States, right? So, you know, we're just going in alphabetical order as things come in. And so, our next coin... Our next country, not coin, country, is a very interesting country. It has a very interesting story. So, a lot of folks don't realize the history. The, uh... Speaking of, all right, the country I'm speaking of is like very sorry, I had to look up the specifics on this coin because I don't have them written down. The country's Liberia, and it's in Africa, um, on the west side. Uh, it's a, got an interesting history because it directly ties to the United States of America. So after the Civil War, there was a quite a large contingent of people. To let the freed slaves go back to Africa. Now, I won't get into why that was a horrible, horrible, terrible way to look at it, because that's getting into politics. But let's just say there were flaws and errors were made. Anyway, so the nation of Liberia was born. Um, and some land was purchased by the United States to create a new nation for the freed slaves. And there were uh, quite a great, great many of freed slaves who did take up the offer to go to Liberia. And, you know, it's, it's very tricky to start a country, especially in West Africa, you know? It's, it's not an easy proposition. Let me get you some numbers here. wasn't very many uh, slaves that went, uh, former slaves. It was only 7,000. Yeah, yeah. Liberia um, and 4,000 free blacks from the north, according to this article I'm reading from uh, oh, nationalhumanitycenter.org. Nationalhumanitycenter.org is my source. And yeah, so it, it wasn't a large number, but there were some who went there. And the United States, their administration of it, they were pretty hands off uh, after the initial push because it wasn't a successful program. Like I said, there were only 11,000 uh, Americans who went 
over there at first. Uh, let me see if that number went up at all. Yeah. After 40 years of trying this, only 12,000. Which, you know, that's, I mean, that's, that's a small town. Uh, but it's, I mean, a small city. Not a lot of people. So it, it was a big failure. However, the nation still exists and it still has a name Liberia to this very day. So, which plays off the, you know, word liberty, Liberia. Uh, it's interesting. They make a lot of coins. I'll say that. Um, they make a lot of coins that are uh, specifically referencing the United States. They do a lot of uh, special series coins with, uh, say, uh, you know, uh, Ronald Reagan on them. I've seen uh, Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, a lot of uh, coins referencing the United States and U.S.-based things. So they kind of carry on that, that uh, tradition of feeling like they are, you know, uh, linked to the United States, at least uh, in spirit, you know, not as a, you know, as a subjugate uh, protectorate or territory, but more as a, a, a feeling of kinmanship and love. Anyway, this is just some eye candy for you guys while we talk about this. Um, it just goes to show you that it's best typically in history to have a nation form organically, right? Another great example of why, um, you know, this meddling that happens often ends poorly. A, a perfect example of that is right here, Iraq, right? We've kind of talked about it. You can't form a nation by just drawing lines on a map. You know, a nation has to form because the people mesh because the people will it so. Um, force of will alone, if that's all it took, well, <laughs> Rome would have never fallen, right? So, anyway, take with that what you will. We've gone on long enough. Um, have an amazing day. And yeah, Liberian coins, you can get them. Um, they also had a 10 cent with the, the Liberty head I just showed you. <laughs> and a 25 cent in silver. Now they're slightly smaller than their U.S. counterparts. Uh, and by slightly, I mean a fair bit smaller. But they are 90%, so that's important. Now the mintages aren't, on these aren't big. So this coin, there's only a million in the whole world. So keep that in mind too. And a lot of these, uh, their special issues go for big money. I've noticed that. Uh, and that's for... Guys, generally speaking, if it's an African coin, it's generally going to go for big money. That's just how it is. That's that's the that's the game. That's the game. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have an amazing day, and uh, I hope you find all the collectibles of your dreams while you're awake. And if you don't, well, you're not paying attention because I'm trying to show them all to you. Thanks for watching.